Today we're pitting 20 Milka bars against 20 Ritter Sport bars and determining which is the superior chocolate brand. Now this is gonna be the biggest Milka vs. Ritter video you'll probably ever see, so make sure to hit the like button. We gotta kick things off with some Alpine milk chocolate. Let's do it. All right. I'll show you, I probably won't show every single bar today, only if it actually like makes sense or is necessary, but I will show you just like that standard, just their design. Now in this video, somebody is probably going to say that we're not opening the Ritter Sport packaging the appropriate way. And just so everybody knows why, that's because if it's, if it's a chocolate bar worth looking at, we want to be able to show it to you in its full form. And to open the packaging the way it's traditionally open, you have to break it. Yes. And just because you can do something some way, one way, doesn't mean you have to. Want to start with Ritter? Ritter, then Milka. Okay. We're in. And that's good. And for today's people pleasing, I brought some milk. All right. Let's get the milk base line set. All right. Let's do it. They're both solid. Solid milk chocolate options. Which one are we liking more? You want to say that on the count of three? Let's do that. I'll count off. Three, two, one. Milk up. Oh, item number one. And we have a disagreement. Wow. The Ritter bar surprised me. I thought it was really good. And moving on to the Milka, I actually felt a little step back in flavor. There was just like, there was just a different flavor to that Milka that I like, that just made me like a little bit more. It's a little bit softer as well. I guess we're gonna see how this video goes now. Uh, moving on to biscuit options. Yes. Now we've had this, well, I think we've had both of these before in the past, but it's been so long that I don't remember. And never side by side. Yes. And a side-by-side -side changes absolutely everything when it comes to the chocolate. All right, I broke it so I can show them. So this one, like, it's got, it's filled with this, like, huge layer of biscuit. Whereas the Milka has got, like, it's got biscuit on both sides being held together by that classic Milka chocolate. Continue with Ritter than Milka, I think. All right, sounds good to me. That's pretty good. It reminds me somewhat of like, I don't know if it's like saltine, kind of like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. Let's try Milka. This is tough. I'm gonna take another bite of this one. All right. I know where I'm at. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one, Ritter. I can't believe it. I actually, I, I totally thought I was gonna give this to the Milka because I remember absolutely loving this one and I don't really remember eating the Ritter one before. It's excellent. The crispness, the crispness of that biscuit is excellent and the smoothness of the chocolate, they just work perfectly. The biscuit's a little bit more buttery and kind of flakes apart a little bit better. This one's a little bit like denser of a biscuit and the ratio of biscuit to chocolate is not optimal, I don't think. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm very surprised at I, that outcome. I honestly can't believe that this is where we're at right now. But moving on to strawberry options. We've got Milka's strawberry and cream and then Ritter's, well, this was a limited edition one, right? Yeah, I, I want to show them the packaging of this one because yeah. like I love the fact that they both look they both look so similar and they're very like, it's very pretty packaging. Our niece would absolutely love this. She loves pink. Hello, Elsie. Comment, hi, Elsie, if you want to say hi to how old is she? Like two years old or something? <laughs> yeah. But she's the most adorable little girl in the entire world. Now let's see if you can get like a, like if you can see that pink. These are very fragrant bars. Yes, this entire room smells like strawberry now. Yeah, all right, Ritter. A little something tangy. Low fat yogurt. I was not expecting yogurt yeah. in that bar. That is, I love that they're not, they're unapologetically hitting you with that strawberry. It's yeah. strong. Yeah, it's it's a bit tart, but I think that that's also coming through because of the yogurt. Let's do mocha. I don't think you can go wrong with either. No, but I do know which one I like more. Me too. Which one I eat more frequently. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, Milka. 100%. It's a little less tart, a little less bitter. The the actual, um, the interior is definitely creamier. If you're looking for like a cheesecakey kind of flavor though, that Ritter is like, is really good, but that lo that yogurt definitely contributes to like this tang to that the overall experience. Yeah, I'm thinking that next up we should do some nutty options. Yes. 
We've got um, whole hazelnut filled bars from both brands, obviously. Yeah, I love this packaging. This is like, this is the new packaging for at least like the ones that they send over to the US. Because the US doesn't actually have Milka chocolate. And so it, it's all, everything's always like relabeled or like has like uh, stickers and stuff. I think they're starting to become a, a little bit more easily accessible, but it's, it's not in grand quantities like we have today. We've had to collect these over time. Look at this Ritter one. Though. I know. I've got to show them this. All right, so this is the, what is it, the hazelnut? Mm -hmm. Look how many, like, so this is the, uh, this is the Milka one, which has a ton, but that Ritter one, that's just mega loaded. Yeah. All right. Let me give you that back. All right. Nothing to complain about. No. It's a very, very crispy uh, hazelnut. Love it. Milka. This one's easy for me. Is it? Mm hmm. You just tell me. I'm going Milka. I'm going to go Milka as well. But it was tough. It was a tough decision for me to make because. The thing I like about the Ritter is the ratio of, of the whole hazelnut to chocolate, I think is better. Because Ritter is such a thick bar, it holds up to that whole hazelnut. But the Milka, the hazelnuts are so far superior yeah. to whatever hazelnut Ritter's using. These taste like they've been like toasted or something. And mm -hmm. these taste kind of just like, they're a little bit, I don't know, a little bit soft, I guess. Yeah, well, let's find, th let's find this out. Is the chopped varieties any different? Yes, because we do. They both do have a chopped, the chopped options, which I like that packaging side by side as well. Just like both with like, both with the green. Chopped hazelnut first whole. Will the outcome be any different? Now these ones look very similar in terms of like the amount that's actually in them. Yes, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but worth a shot. Completely different eating experience from the whole. Yeah, I think I prefer the whole, surprisingly. My imagination would have told me chopped beats whole. Not the case. No, surprisingly not. Let's try the milk up. Easy for me. Me too. I'm ready to hear. Three, two, one, Milka. Yeah. I don't think either of those bars are pretty, like much to write home about. They're not standouts. But the milk of the actual chocolate in that one seemed to have a bit more flavor, but the Milka whole hazelnut, you were getting that flavor and that roasted quality of the hazelnuts more than in the chopped version. Yeah, so I like the whole one more. Overall, I just feel like for some reason that, uh, that Ritter one lacked flavor a, a, to a degree. I'm gonna break out a little palate reset. We've got some Ritz toasted chips. We're really giving to the people today. Milk, salty relief, people pleasers. What can we say? A little bit of something for everybody. Moving on to the next round, being white chocolate varieties. White chocolate is one that neither brand have extensive lineups in. It's not America, that's for sure. And as far as the ones that we were able to easily acquire, these were the only two. Yeah. So we brought in a the Oreo, uh, the white Oreo, and then we've got the white the, Oreo Milka, and then we've got the white cinnamon crisp Ritter Sport. So both are white chocolate bases and have some kind of crispy cookie-like element in them. And the visual of both is awesome. So this is the Ritter. And it's got these massive, massive, like, I don't know what you call it, like pellets of, of uh, cinnamon. And then this is the Milka, which has like these nice big pieces of like, of Oreo. Of course, being cookies and cream. What that? All right, let's try this one, Ritter. It is unbelievable. It's so good. It's so aggressive on the cinnamon. The white chocolate is really smooth and it has a lot of flavor. The overall experience of it is absolutely excellent and something I've never experienced in a white chocolate. It reminds me so much of coffee cake, like a streusel. Yeah, it tastes just like streusel. And we've had it on the channel once before and that was the comment that we made. It has a streusel-like flavor to it. And that is a very good thing when it comes to us. Milk. This one breaks my heart. 
it they're breaks, both, it they're breaks both my so heart. Good. It breaks my heart to make this decision. They're both so unbelievably good, but I think the high five gave away my answer. Yeah, we're going Milka. My goodness, that's hard to choose between. We're huge white chocolate guys, and these are up there with the best of the white chocolate. The reason I chose Milka wow. is because the actual flavor and the consistency of their white chocolate. I think the mix-in or, or the cinnamon or the Oreo cookie were equally as great in texture. The cinnamon was just a, a little bit more crisp, I, I feel. Yeah. But the white the white chocolate from Milka is a standout texture. It's so creamy. It and melts immediately. Like right when it hits your tongue, it just starts melting. Yeah, and it's a little bit more flavorful yes. overall. Both of those are so good though. Yes. Let's try some raspberry options because these seem like a lot of fun. We have Milka's Raspberry and Cream and we have the Valentine's Day Ritter Sport Raspberry and Rose. That's such a pretty one. That's one that Elsie would love as well. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's okay, like a, so these look like a jam. These look very different from one another. So this is, this is the Ritter Raspberry. And then this is the Milka. I don't know if you can see that, but that's like, that straight up looks like jam. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. I'm I'm really I'm, interested how this goes. The rose is the is the thing that sounds interesting to me. I'm very movie. curious about this route. All right, that is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I anticipated not liking this, and it does have a floral quality from that rose, but overall, I'm kind of liking it. I wouldn't buy it again, personally. I think I'd get that before I got the strawberry one, the Ritter strawberry. I think you're right. It is a strong, strong flavor too. I'm gonna clear my palate before this next one because like Nate said, that's a strong one. All right. Man, this one actually has something to live up to. I know. The raspberry and chocolate fans need to be eating that, that uh, Milka bar though. Yeah, absolutely. That is that is raspberry and chocolate. That sure. is that is screaming wow. raspberry. Yeah, and not like I mean, it's not like a fresh raspberry, but it's not super artificial either. No, and because of the ratios of that chocolate to filling, the chocolate actually is kind of taking the back seat. I love it. I think it's great. I love it. Between the two, which are we choosing? Three, two, one. Ritter. Ritter. Surprising. I'm very surprised. I did not think I was gonna like that bar. That, I, I was anticipating, because of the inclusion of the rose, I wasn't really I wasn't really expecting to think much of it, but it surprised me. Next round, we are doing the dark chocolate options, which seems like a bad time to go to that. Yeah. <laughs> After eating so much milk chocolate, it probably would have been good to start with this. But if you are a dark chocolate lover, Ritter is the brand for you, because yeah. they have so many dark chocolate bar options. We were only able to get our hands on one dark option from Milka. So what we are planning on doing is eating five different dark chocolate options from Ritter, picking our favorite and pitting that against the Milka dough. There you go. Now this is just 50% dark chocolate. Now, do you wanna just get all these ready? I'm gonna sure. get confused as what the what they are though. How are you doing this? I'm keeping them all, all right. on their package. What, what's that? Was this 61? Mm -hmm. I've got I've got a little bit of like a thing going here, so I'm pretty sure. So what's this 74? Okay, so this is getting darker. All right. So do you want to start with the 50 percent? Yes. All right. Let's give it a shot. A nice smooth dark chocolate, not too bitter. No. The thing with the dark chocolate though is it loses its, it's like it loses that like immediate creaminess that you get from all the milk chocolates, mm -hmm. which is just not as much of my thing. All right, moving on to 55%. Okay. Round up 5%, people. Let's try it. There's a difference. Oh yeah. This tastes like nothing. It has no flavor whatsoever. It doesn't taste like anything. It's supposedly made with cocoa from Ghana. Well, all I know, is that it doesn't taste like absolutely anything. It literally is so bland. Let's try 61% with a cacao from Nicaragua. All right. Where is the flavor? These are all so different from one another. That one's like crumbly. As of right now, the 50% standard is in the lead. We're going 74% with cacao from Peru. All right. There's a little more nuance to the flavor of that bar, but it is so not my thing. 
These are outrageously disappointing to me. Yes. I was expecting at least like this this standard dark chocolate one had a lot, ton of flavor. These ones like I feel like they're just lacking entirely. Yeah. Well now we're going with 81% and we're back to Ghana. So Ghana's getting a second chance right now. And it's disappointed yet again. It tastes like dirt. I'm gonna eat a piece of the, the regular dark chocolate again just to excite my palate. That's the winner. All right. So back to where we started. We've got the 50% cacao from Ritter going up against the extra dark from Milka. Wow. One last time. I just cannot believe. I cannot believe how lackluster those, all, all those were. I'm retrying the Ritter to make sure I can do the correct side-by-side. -side. That 50% has a great flavor. It's pretty good. At least it tastes like something. All right, Milka. Nope, no. I need to make sure that Milka's getting its fair chance. Yeah. All right, I've re-experienced the Ritter. All right. It doesn't, it doesn't say what percentage this one is. I've got my answer. Three, two, one, Milka. Milka. By a landslide for a company that has so many dark chocolate options. It pales in comparison. They have so many dark options, so many dark chocolate options, and they're not doing very, they're not doing many very well. No, they're not doing a good job with the dark chocolate for having so many options, again, I say. All right, well, moving on, let's see if Ritter can redeem itself with its caramelized almond, and we are putting that up against the Almond Crispy Cream by Milka. Yes, now I love this packaging. This is another one of those, uh, like, wintertime ones, right? Yes, it's like limited edition ones. Thank you. So the Milka is a little bit different because it does have the cream and, but then it's chopped caramelized almond pieces, and the Ritter is whole. Uh, no, no, they are chopped. Yeah, yeah, you can see that. But it doesn't have just got that classic cream, yeah. All right. And we are back. That is excellent. Ritter re-entered the game with that one. Yeah. The texture of like the sugar-coated almond is awesome. Yeah, seriously. Like if I would, if you're going for the uh, the chopped hazelnut bar, I would get this way before that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Like, like especially if you're in a nut-filled chocolate bar, partially for the texture, the texture in that bar is next level. Excellent. How do I choose? Those are both excellent. I did not see this round going this way. I'm giving it a draw. I'm giving it a draw. I think I might agree with you. I think that I think that they both deserve the point here. I don't think one is better than the other. They are both outstanding. I think those are like some of the best ones we've had so far today. I never would have imagined that the round that would leave me this surprise, speechless, would be the caramelized almond round. No. Those are both epic bars. This is if you're if you're looking for something ultra ultra creamy with like it almost feels like toffee pieces. That's what you that's when you get the milka. But then this one is like the ultimate like like I said almost like when you want that chopped hazelnut or that chopped nut in a chocolate, you can't beat this. Let me tell you. Excellent. I am impressed. Blown away. Next round. These are not these are also two not completely comparable options, but it seemed like a fun two options to put next to, next to each other, being the infamous cornflakes filled Ritter Sport Bar. Everybody knows it, everybody loves it. And the infamous Milka Chips Ahoy filled. These got have to be some of their most popular options. Yeah. And if you're someone that's like, oh, that's not a fair side-by-side, -side. you're taking it too seriously, we're doing it. It's going to be fun. I'll show you now, like, this is the cornflakes one if you've never seen it before, but most people probably have. It's so popular. Thank you. And then Chips Ahoy. It just looks like every other milk bar with that cream, but it's definitely got that those pieces of dry cookie. So we're going Corn Flakes versus Chips Ahoy. Corn Flakes. It is such a fun texture. It's so, it, it, it deserves to be as popular as it is. The, the crispness and the crunch of those, of the cereal pieces, it is an outstanding chocolate bar. Unbelievable. Which are you going for, man? This, this one's heartbreaking, but I'm going to be decisive because I can't give two draws. Three, two, one, Ritter. Milka. We're gonna disagree here. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the Ritter. 
It's just, I think that's just one of the funnest chocolate bars that, that exists. It is such an incredible texture. There's something about this Chips Ahoy Milka though. The flavor of it, it's so sweet. It's a very childish candy bar, I feel. That's kind of difficult to explain my feeling towards it, but it's so sweet, you're getting, a, you're getting so much cream and you're getting that little bit of texture from the, the um, Chips Ahoy pieces, and it's so sweet. I love it. One of the reasons why I'm giving it to the Ritter as well is because it's undeniably what it says it is. If I was blindfolded, I wouldn't be sure of what the Milka was. There is no way of not knowing what that Ritter is. That's a good point. I still stand by it. I'm going Milka. Next round, we're going with the Milka Chocolate Mousse versus Ritter's Praline. Now we do know that Ritter has a chocolate mousse version, but we couldn't get our hands on it. Yes. And we have had this one before, and we actually remember it being very similar, honestly, in texture to this one. Where you, I'll show you, you can even see they're both like very much like this moussey kind of, yeah, consistency inside. I, I don't know if you can see that, but worth a shot. That bar. How do you even describe it? It's like a, it's almost like a truffle, but it's so soft. It's almost like a little bit chewy. It's like it's melty but chewy, or so in some way. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but I don't need another just regular milk chocolate bar in my life if this exists. That is insane. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's see how this one is. It's been a very very long time since we've had this. That one's somewhat brownie like. They are so different. Mm -hmm. They, I guess it's not technically the same thing, but the Milka chocolate mousse, that's a great point. It tastes like brownie batter. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's darker than the uh, than the Ritter is. Yeah, the, it, it tastes, it feels a bit more rich. They're both excellent. I have my I have my winner. I would encourage any milk chocolate lover to go with either of those and you'd be very happy, but I do know three, two, one, Ritter. That praline Ritter bar. It's next level. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now we put out a poll on Instagram asking people if they were Team Milka or Team Ritter. And by a landslide, Milka took it. Mm -hmm. But this, this has got me questioning a lot of things. And I am also realizing right now, I don't know who's winning. That's a good point. I have absolutely no idea where, where the majority of this video is going. Uh, this, we're all over the place. Yeah, seriously. Okay. <laughs> So, as we've mentioned a couple times, the variety that you're able to acquire in the United States is kind of limited and it varies throughout the year and where you're able to go. So we have a lot of miscellaneous items that I don't have direct side by side, so we have an idea here. We, for the next two rounds, are doing big collections of Milka and a big collection of Ritter Bars. We're going to pick our favorite from each group and pit those two against each other and determine who takes that round. And for Milka, we are going to do this one also in sections. So we have two different Oreo, Oreo products, one being it's like an Oreo sandwich and then the Oreo cream fill. Yes, this is like Oreos, it's got the cream, then it's like held together by chocolate and then wrapped around the chocolate. And then this one's got that cream filling, the classic milk and cream filling, and then it's got Oreo pieces in it. Which one do you wanna start with, this one? Yeah. All right. I love that. That's one of my favorite Oreo products. As far as like their sandwich bars, that is so much better than the biscuit one. Oh yeah, absolutely. But that one's got the cream. That is a very tough call for me. I know I've typically gravitated, gravitated towards this one a little bit more often than you have, but I think that I prefer this one, the uh, the cream one. Yeah, the cream one's winning between uh, in this round so far. All right, next round we're going caramel options. We've got the caramel cream and the triple caramel. Thank you. Now this one, the caramel one's nothing really to see. Let me see if I can like, oh, <laughs> yeah, so like, that like triple caramel one. It's got like three different kinds of caramel, right? We are going to have to eat, eat each an individual one of these too. Oh, okay, let's do it. That's fun. That's a good bar. You're getting the crunchy caramel 
the smooth creamy caramel, caramel caramel, we know. And then you're getting the creamy caramel. Like not the, not the, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you got like the, you got like the gooey and then you've got the creamy and then you've got the crunchy. Yes, yes. All right. Between the two, I like the straight caramel cream better. I think so. But what that's about, a hard call. What about that or the, um, the, the Oreo? Uh, Oreo cream. I'm going, I'm going caramel. I might be going Oreo cream. We're gonna have to go back to those. Let's go to the last, last part of this milk around. Being the bubbly options, we have the milk bubbly and we have the white bubbly. I will show them the inside shot of both of these. They're always so fun to look at. Got that like aerated, aerated quality to them. Start with the milk, okay? Good, not a standout. Slightly reminds me of the uh, of the mousse. Yeah, just a little bit, but not as dark. That one's better. But neither one of them take it for that round. Mm -hmm. I'm going back. Sorry. I'm going back to the caramel cream and the Oreo cream. Do you have enough caramel cream for me to have some? Because, oh. I was like, where? What happened, to, what happened to all of it? All right. Let's determine who is the round winner for this. Okay. I know who takes it here. All right. I think I'm going to come to your side. And I'm going with the Oreo. All right, so the Oreo cream moves on. The side-by-side -side really changes things, let me tell you. It really does. All right, so now we are going to eat a bunch of Ritter options. Choose our favorite from that group, and that will be going up against the Oreo Milka. You wanna start with the two nut ones? Yes, let's do that. Now, believe it or not, this is not all of the Milka and Ritter bars we were able to acquire, but this video is already getting so excessive and is completely out of hand. So we've got a couple additional ones from Raisin and Nuts to Cherry Cream. Those ones we're going to save, and at some point we will probably be trying those over on Patreon. So if you would like to hear our opinions about a couple of additional flavors like the Yogurt Milka, like that Cherry Milka, make sure to go become a patron. Nope. Oh no. Huh. All right, so we'll start with these nut ones and then we'll move on to some of the other ones. I just figured while you were talking, I'd open that up. So now these ones are a, it's a milk chocolate and almond, and then we've got the dark chocolate and whole almond. Milk chocolate first? I'm starting with dark. Yeah, that's actually a better idea. Soft act to follow. Yeah. Let's see if the milk almond is any better. I feel like your mind wants to tell you that almond and chocolate is boring because it's so common. But I think that it's so common because it is so perfect. Yeah, it is so perfect, but I just think that, that, that both of them fall short a little bit for me. They fall flat a little bit. Yeah. I have no idea what's happening. I don't I don't I don't either. I don't know. I'm just giving you I'm just giving you stuff. So I have marzipan in my hand. Yep. This is coconut. Yes. And then we've got a crispy coffee, right? Mm -hmm. So what order do you want to do these in? This this coconut one must have melted, and so it is falling apart. All right, let's do marzipan first. Okay. And we'll do coconut. Check out the marzipan. That's in the lead for me right now. Of all the dark chocolate we've had from Ritter, that is the best one. That is a fun bar. It's probably because the sweetness of the marzipan is perfectly... Um, Balancing out that dark chocolate. I really like the texture of it too. Coconut. Wow. Wow. I love that. I am typically not crazy about coconut and chocolate, but that is so good. I'm, I'm blown away. It's the lightest. I think it's the lightest chocolate bar that we've had today. It just like, it just, it's not heavy at all. It's so, it's so good. That's blowing my mind. As of right now, I think it's no surprise that the coconut is in the lead. And we have one more Ritter to try before we get back to the Ritter versus Milka side by side. And that is the crispy coffee. Yeah, so this has like coffee pieces. It also, I think it's a lot like the, uh, and I think it has the cornflakes pieces it in it It does have well. cornflakes pieces, yes. All right, now I think it's like dark chocolate and coffee or something. Let's try it. I'll tell you what, I thought that was gonna be amazing and it's not working for me. I was excited about that, about that um, 
crispy coffee milk um, Ritter bar. And let me tell you why it's not working for me. I love the texture of the cornflakes, but pair that with the coffee flavor, and it tastes like you're eating coffee grounds. Yeah, absolutely. It, gives, it definitely gives off that illusion of like coffee grounds. It's just not really working. Also, because it's with dark chocolate, the dark chocolate's adding a bitterness to the coffee, which actually adds to the whole experience of eating coffee grounds. Yeah, too bitter and kind of feels texturally like coffee grounds. So disappointing because I was really excited about trying that. Yes. But now we have the two contenders for this final round being the Ritter Coconut and the Milka Oreo Cream. I don't have any Milka Oreo Cream though, do you? I think so. I've got one piece right. Uh, nope, that is caramel. Um, you've got one piece, unless we just like misplaced, uh, misplaced the rest of it. Here you go. We're all lost. All right. That's fine. One piece. I can't believe it's as close of a call as it is. I can't believe it. As someone who's not crazy about coconut, I cannot believe that it's holding its own. That Ritter coconut bar is blowing my mind, but between the two, I have my choice. Three, two, one, Milka. And by three points, Milka wins.